Yeah, I mean, the challenge is that you're on, off, on, off for, you know, nine days. Um, and it can be really difficult to not just rebound mental, mentally, but physically too. Um, so we've prepared, you know, for um, some re recovery stuff, you know, rejuvenation on the road. Um, but this stretch of matches is make or break for our CEA and whether or not we make the CEA tournament. So it presents a huge opportunity. You know, if we go, uh, go up northeast and we start off strong against Hofstra and Northeastern and we really build some momentum there, then we can just ride that wave back home uh, and really solidify, you know, our shot at making the CAA tournament. So it's a huge opportunity as long as we um, prepare for the challenges mentally, physically. We know that's going to be a stretch. We know these matches are going to be a battle. We know they need to win just as much as we do. Um, and we understand that going with a good game plan and then take care of ourselves physically, uh, I think we'll be okay for sure. I mean, we've seen some huge growth and development from this team. Um, keep in mind, they've already won more games than last year overall and in the CAA. Um, we started off shaky against Northeastern and dropped that match. We were in a 6-2. We flipped to a 5-1, and we've seen, you know, especially Kate Tedrick just blow up and Lauren Merrill grow up in front of our eyes and, and just become a dominant sick rotation outside. And I think now we've found our footing and we feel comfortable in our system and we feel comfortable in our personnel and we feel confident in one another and the coaching staff, and, and that's, that's good moving forward. Um, so we've had some awesome play as of late. Um, you know, took a minor setback this weekend, but overall, you know, we're trending in the right direction and we're doing the right things. And I think the group can feel that energy and I think we're going to be uh, prepared and ready to go. It starts, you know, you live and die by your setters and your liberos. And um, when our liberos are able to give Autumn a good pass, you know, we're hitting 300 plus in good pass offense. So not only is she making the right tactical decision, she's delivering a great terminal ball to our attackers and they're doing their job. Um, again, we've already talked about some of our players in terms of Lauren Merrill and Kate Dedrick, but like, let's not forget that when we're in system, Kay Fergie and Julia Brown out of the middle are able to put that ball away at a high rate. And Claire Farrell has been awesome. When she gets to that line shot and she can create some, uh, generate some momentum for herself early on in the match and go to that go-to shot for her, man, she proves to be pretty unstoppable. And she, you can just tell by the way she's playing. Um, and she's been uh, an influence in the back in the back row too. So, um, you know, offensively, we're finding the right options when we're in system. And our liberos are playing their tail off. And it's a hats off to them because they have no... No person in their position group who they can look up to. It's two freshmen trying to figure it out for themselves. And the fact that they can stay in it mentally and support one another and still be a bedrock of our offense is a hats off to them. So I'm excited to continue to see them develop and grow because it only gets easier. Um, you know, as soon as every match you gain more confidence and comfort. Um, and that's a little unique about this weekend too because we're playing in environments that they've never played in. Um, and it's new arenas, but as soon as we gain some familiarity, um, you know, I'm looking forward to watching the offense produce.